Coach Tom here with Coach Elias. Today's subject, the loopy forehand to the backhand side. What a great yeah. tool to have in the toolbox, right? Definitely. What does it create? So on that shot, number one, it's going to be able to generate the short ball you can, you can take advantage of. Yes. I want to give, uh, give you guys a few, few tips on that shot. Yeah. We want to we want to really what's, focus. let me ask you this elias what's one thing when you hit a a nice loopy ball you know when i say loopy i'm talking about like what five six seven feet exactly. eight eight feet over the net exactly yeah. right we're talking five to eight feet over the net but this ball has a lot of spin okay so it's going to kick up to your opponent's backhand so after you hit that what are you thinking after you hit that shot, you want to lean in forward and anticipate a shorter ball in the middle of the court. You can take advantage of, you can change the pace, you can take it early and then press it in the opposite corner. Or even if you have done that a few times, wrong foot your opponent. Yeah. And like Tom said, it's a great shot to keep your opponent back at the baseline and then use it to change the pace yeah. and uh, really yeah. put some pressure on your opponent. Yeah. We had a young student here the other day, and you know he's been, he's going to be a college player, but he's hitting everything, everything, the same type of ball. You know he's going for power on everything, and even Agassi had to learn you don't have to power every ball. I mean you're still swinging fast on this loopy ball. Yes. But more of the energy is into the loop and the spin, and creating a tougher shot for your opponent. Okay, here in slow motion, watch Elias is hitting that loopy ball. See, there he doesn't get a real loopy ball. I slice it back, and he's still going for the loopy ball. There he gets a nice loop on the ball. He gets a weak return and just comes in and punishes it, keeps moving forward. Okay, again, in super slow motion, Good leg bend. He's lifting into this shot. Notice how high the ball is there. It's above his shoulders, but his racket is below the ball. He's swinging up so he can get good lift on the ball. And notice right there, look at how high that ball is clearing the net. That's a loopy shot. Now that's really going to kick up at my backhand. Okay, now he senses the ball is going to have a good kick, so he starts moving in already. Now, I'm hitting a backhand slice up around my shoulders. I hit a weak return, and he just comes in and hits a swinging volley. That's how you can use loopy balls to the backhand side. He's got good technique on this swinging volley. He's turned the shoulders. And he puts it away nicely. Aye. Aye. Okay, let's take a look in super slow motion here on the technique. Okay, split step. When he comes down, he starts to shuffle out away from the ball to give himself some space to hit this shot. Now he keeps an open stance, somewhat of an open stance here. You'll see that right foot come forward. All right, nice take back. Look at that right there. Racket is nice and high. It's going to drop down. Look at the left hand. The shoulders have really turned. He's got some serious torque. And now he's going to unleash that. Now notice there how low the racket head is, at least a couple of feet below the ball. Swinging up, contact point above the shoulders, off the ground because he's lifting with his legs. A great extension on the finish. Look at his racket extend and come around on the finish. Okay, super slow motion on the swing volley. Again, good footwork, giving himself space so he can swing freely on this shot. Nice racket take back, shoulders are turning. Good knee bend here. Now look at that position there. He's ready. He's got good torque. His legs are bent. He's going to lift up 
into this shot. Now he's lifting, boom, at the moment of contact off the ground, the racket's moving from low to high, so he's got some topspin on the ball to pull it down. So, key tip there, if you decide to come in, take that topspin volley. I want you to focus on getting the shot and hitting the ball when it's higher than the net. Because once that ball drops lower than the net, we need to, again, come under and lift it, which makes it much more challenging. So again, key thing is get that nice long topspin and then decide to come in quickly so you can hit that ball at a comfortable height for you. Well, we hope you enjoyed that video. Please give us a thumbs up, uh, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Great job, Elias. Um, Thank you, Tom. I think players, you know, they have to realize they don't have to hit everything hard and flat, right? Exactly. The loopy ball is a very valuable tool. Yeah, exactly. Mix it up, make it uncomfortable for your opponent. Don't yeah. give him that much rhythm. Yeah. And you look keep at practicing. All, yeah. Variety. Yeah. It's exactly. The spice of life. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.